I'll take the hot seat. Okay. <laughs> All right. I did write down some questions, so okay. we're gonna go real interview style. Okay. Elise. Yes. <laughs> um. Okay. Let's start with this one. Elise. Yes. <laughs> Hey beautiful people, my name is Brittany and today I'm going to be talking with Elise. Hello. <laughs> for the first time and it feels like it's been a long time coming so I'm really excited to yeah. have you on my channel. I found your channel years ago, like before moving to Hawaii, before decluttering my life. Like, yeah. That's cool. Yeah, I remember meeting you at Woodstock when you had dreads like way, way, way back in yeah. the day. Maybe wearing like a tie-dye shirt. Yeah. Yeah. Did I seem nervous to talk to you? No, you seemed totally okay. normal. You were like really chill. Remember. You yeah. were cool, yeah. Well, I was, I was probably cool. really excited. Well, I was excited. And then like after that, I think your channel totally blew up and I was like, that's the girl with the dreads from the festival. <laughs> yeah, it's really cool. Well, it's good to be here on your channel. Thank you. And I'm excited for what we're about to talk about today. Yeah, we're going to be talking about like minimalism and abundance and how they kind of mesh together in different ways. Specifically, I want to be asking, I want to be, I'm going to be yeah. asking Elise about um, the ways that this is kind of like manifested and unfolded in her life. What got you into minimalism and how has that shifted over time? Hmm. Okay, so what first got me into minimalism was that, well, I always felt really cluttered. Like when I was in high school, I would just shop like crazy. I had a couple of friends who loved shopping, mostly for clothes. And when I was a senior in high school, I had this job which was decently well paying. Mm -hmm. And I just, I saved a lot of money, but I also spent a lot of money on clothes and other stuff like home decor which I still do really enjoy but like so many clothes yeah. and it was crazy so I remember like not being able to finish school projects until I like decluttered and like organized and put things away and because I had so much there was so much to be organized yeah. so that's one thing that got me interested and like kind of pulled me towards decluttering and yeah. then I found your channel and oh, I was cool. like what this is like a game now like looking at how little you had I was like hmm this looks like fun and that's kind of the approach that I got into it honestly um, was just like looking off at, uh, at all of the things that I had and kind of feeling excited to just get rid of so much yeah. and to really get my wardrobe specifically down to just a couple of items that really reflected like my style yeah and so I did that once I moved down to Georgia and had like my own little apartment there. And that house was pretty minimal. We had we had a couch and a bed and a table. So like I was like getting getting towards my <laughs> my point of van life. I was I was moving yeah. there. And um, yeah, so it all started from wanting less clutter. And then I wanted to move to Hawaii and I need, needed money, so I sold all of my things. So that was another dimension yeah. of it. Um, and I got to Hawaii, I was living on a farm for a while and didn't need any furniture. And then I moved into a van and was still really scraping by with money and just started living super simply. I no longer had like that job from high school and it was just, I didn't really have the option of buying and spending and there's not really any malls here in Hawaii yeah. so my whole lifestyle just like changed and, um, and it kept changing and then I started to earn more money and not need to live in a van anymore and kind of I just that was like a short-lived experience for me yeah. uh, mostly because the status of the van it wasn't very homey it was just like a hollow utility van with an air mattress in it yeah and i just felt very unhealthy in there so luckily i started earning enough money to move into an apartment and then that kind of brought in new opportunities for like purchasing a blender or i don't know like a spiralizer and like little things and then it's just continued to evolve and now i'm in this larger space and there's room for guest rooms yeah. and allowing family and friends to come visit and before I could have never done that and and then that brings on like 
okay, well, am I gonna have beds for these guests yeah. to sleep in or or not? And how, like, how much furniture am I gonna bring in here? So it's been a journey and it feels really fun to navigate and I feel like I'm rambling on. <laughs> no, I love that whole answer. Yeah, I love that because I feel like it helps hit on the many, that there's like no one face of being a minimalist. Mm -hmm. And that I, when you're talking about that, I feel like the way that it has enhanced your life at all these different steps mm -hmm. in your journey. Yeah. And that it's really made sense. And I feel like I've noticed that like I'll start to think like minimalism is, I'll really identify with one element of it. Like, oh, like I want to have like X amount of things and that will keep me going for a while and keep me inspired. And then it will feel like, oh no, I want to have like a really big space that can be open and spacious. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I've definitely gone through ebbs and flows of thinking of it and feeling my way through it in different ways. Yeah. And I think a big piece of minimalism for me is having more mental clarity. That's yeah. probably like the biggest thing. And and like not needing to take time to clean and organize and declutter, like after that initial declutter phase, yeah. like that just saves so much time and like mental room in my head yeah um so that's a huge thing and like even though i'm acquiring new items of furniture and like bowls in the kitchen um for guests to use and like all of that um i don't feel like i've reached a point where i'm adding or i'm taking time away from my life to like clean more things or declutter or like just seeing too much that's like frustrating um i feel like that's the biggest piece of minimalism that I always want to keep with me and I feel like it's so natural at this point. What do you feel like are some of the other ways that abundance has manifested for you? Like what are the other types of abundance you feel like you're sort of reaping the benefits from in a way that's directly linked to like your more minimalist lifestyle? Okay, um, so time is definitely one of them and along with that comes all of the activities that I do with that time. Yeah. So connecting with people or working on projects and not needing to clean something or declutter or feel that frustration. Um, some like some activities outside and let's see, abundance. Um, I just feel more free, like I feel more in alignment with myself having clear space. It's mostly things that I do with my time and that mental space. Yeah. Um, so I'll listen to audiobooks and that feels really good for me and I'm learning and growing more and just like have time to expand and to care for myself. Yeah. And I don't wake up in like a cluttered room and I don't know, I just, I have these routines that I've incorporated in my life and self-care is just huge and I feel like I didn't, I was just so cluttered that I, I couldn't do that before yeah. and that in turn has allowed me to be in alignment with myself like I said before which has welcomed monetary abundance into my life which has just like opened crazy doors for me and that's kind of where my minimalist journey has gone um, from a point of like being in the van with little to no money and it was so fun and thrilling and really did feel like a game to like get down to a small number of items but I also had so much time then and yeah welcoming new items into my life I, I still feel like it all comes back to time. So what do you feel like your core feeling in regards to minimalism is? Is it, is it in regards to the number of items that you have or is it more of a mindset? Is it more of a feeling? How does that, how has it evolved for you I guess like really quickly? Yeah. Yeah, that's a great question. I feel like one thing that I feel like kind of got in there for me early on, I like took on as like a mantra for myself and it still feels really real for me. It's like letting go of all the crap or like clutter, or letting go of anything that's no longer serving me to make space for what's feeling real and exciting and what I want to be inviting into my life. And that still feels super relevant to how I live and it kind of changes over time and like things like having few items still feel like they're really serving me so that's like a similar thread that i've had throughout my whole minimalist journey mm -hmm. but other things have really changed like you like i really loved living in my rv when it was that time and then it got to a point where i was like 
I definitely want a nice apartment and mm -hmm. it's just sort of evolved but the but yeah I'd say that one thing that stayed the same has been like creating more spaciousness for myself and more time and energy one thing that just popped in my mind when you said that was also relationships like I have let go of I don't know why I got like a tickle in my throat. <laughs> I have let go of relationships that, that felt like they weren't contributing to my yeah. life just as I have let go of items. And that's been huge. Yeah, that's just so much more like emotional space mm -hmm. to be putting into something that like, for a relationship that's really important to you. Yeah. Amazing. Well, thank you so much for being down to come on and talk about this with me. Yeah, thanks for having me. Yeah, I'd love it if you wanted to share anything that's like going on big in raw alignment world right now. That would be fun for people to hear about. <laughs> raw alignment world. Yeah. Um, well, kind of actually it ties into this subject. I created a positive affirmation coloring book which has been really exciting because a few months back I did a 30 day no social media cleanse or like cool. challenge and um, that was just like hugely eye opening and felt so good and um, I like that I'm sharing this book with people because that allows people to step away from social media and clear that out of their life just temporarily for like an hour or a day um, while coloring and there's a lot of really empowering sayings and quotes and activities in the book um, in addition to the pages to color so that is my most new and exciting thing and um, that's on my website raw-alignment.com and that is all perfect okay great yeah and i've seen pages of the coloring book and they're absolutely gorgeous yeah i'm really impressed with it thank you and i really recommend checking it out and also you can check out elise on youtube and instagram and we'll link all that down below Thank you for having me. Thank you for being on. And thank you guys for listening. I really like talking about this, especially with another person who's into the same, same type of stuff. Yeah, instead of just me talking about it on my own. Yeah, so it's really nice. Yeah. Yeah, thanks. Okay. Mwah.